Has this ever happened to you? Of course it has. You tune into your favorite episodic television show and you hear the voiceover say, previously on, well I've got a previously on. Why? Because it's only about 12 hours since I did the last episode of Rob Speed and I've got updates and more. Welcome back to Rob Speed Today. This is episode number 110 and I'm Rob Shendo. First off, I have to acknowledge a birthday. A five-year-old, a really important five-year-old. I mean, this five-year-old has accomplished more than, I don't, I don't know. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Twitter. Happy birthday to you. March 21st, 2006. Twitter was born. The first tweets were sent. And what a phenomenal success Twitter has been. There are millions of people sharing information on Twitter today. And I'm proud of myself for having been one of the first 5,000 people who used Twitter, the Twitter service. I had to, when it was that I got involved with Twitter, it was April 24th of 2000. And seven. So I was a year late, but I'm still one of the first. Happy birthday, Twitter. You've changed the world. In case you're interested in how I found out how old my account at Twitter was, well, just you can find out your own too. Go to Bwitter.com. B-W-I-T-T-E-R dot com. Once there you can enter your account name and it'll tell you. When your account was born, Twitter.com. Last time I made a recommendation, I told you about the Lifetime TV movie, Prayers for Bobby. And I said that it was coming out again. I didn't realize at the time how soon it was coming out. Today's Monday the 21st, Thursday the 24th at 10 p.m. I assume that's Eastern Time. Lifetime TV will be showing Prayers for Bobby. The description reads, Academy Award nominee and Golden Globe winner Sigourney Weaver stars in the emotional true story about a 1970s religious suburban housewife and mother who struggled to accept her young son Bobby being gay. What happens to Bobby is tragic and causes Mary to question her faith. Ultimately, this mom changes her view in ways that she could never have imagined. Also stars Ryan Kelly, Susan Rutan, Dan Butler. Do you remember Dan Butler from the Frasier program? He was that obnoxious sports guy. I can't remember his name, but he was a skirt-chasing asshole. He's the sweetheart of a man. He's a pastor in this movie. Highly recommended. Mark your calendars this Thursday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. It'll be repeated Friday at 2 a.m. Eastern Time. Set your DVRs, record it somehow, or go to Amazon.com, buy a copy of it. You can get it for $3.99 if you download it from iTunes right now. Just search Prayers for Bobby. An interesting thing is being reported on Alternet today, actually yesterday, but it says that the crime rates are plummeting. And no one knows why. It's alternet.org, O-R-G. And it says, could it be that America is actually turning less violent? They're citing some statistics for uh, Los Angeles. As of December 25th of last year, there were only 293 homicides reported in L.A. I won't go into all the other, other uh, reports, all the other statistics. Other than to say... That in 1992, Los Angeles saw 1,092 murders. And I said, nobody knows why. It's a good trend. But I'm just kind of wondering, is it the economy? Now, you would think that with a bad economy, when the economy goes sour, 
people are without money, that the crime would increase. But could there be this we're all in it together sort of attitude that maybe you don't you don't harm your team and we're all one team? Any theories? Let me know. One of the tools the right wing uses a lot is the I know a guy theory. So public employees shouldn't have union representation because I know a guy who's a teacher and makes $100,000 a year and only works part-time. Well, I know a guy who can contradict those statistics I just told you about crime dropping. In Pennsylvania, an elderly gay man is stoned to death because a young Pennsylvania man claims a gay senior made unwanted sexual advances toward him and said that the Old Testament instructed him to beat the victim to death with a sock full of rocks. John Joe Thomas of Upper Darby told police that he burnt Murray Seidman, beat Murray Seidman using a sock that was stuffed with rocks because he read in the Old Testament that homosexuals should be stoned to death. The 70-year-old Seidman, a laundry worker at a local hospital, was hit in the head about 10 times. Thomas, 28, was a sole beneficiary of the victim's will, although the relationship between the men is unknown. Seidman was dead for at least five days before police found him, the Daily News up there reports. Thomas left him in his land, Lansdowne apartment and then returned days later, trying to make it appear as if he had just found the body in a phone call to police. This was on January 12th. It sounds to me like a lot of bullshit. It sounds to me like a crime of opportunity. I'm in the will. I want what's in that will to be mine. Murder. And now for another scary statistic. Alternates also reporting the scary fact that people who watch and trust Fox News will surprise you. One in four. Americans believe most or all of what's said on Fox News, despite Fox's fabrication of everything from death panels to climate gate. I remember not too long ago there was this campaign, kind of a grassroots campaign, to, to get your local cable operators to dump Fox News by insisting that you would not pay pay for that portion of your subscription fee that supported that acquired the Fox feed. I don't know what ever happened to that, but I, I sure wish it would someone pick up the mantle and run with that one. Fox News sucks. I was pleased this morning. I was perusing the gay podcast on iTunes and I, I scrolled down on, on one. I don't recall which one I was, but I scrolled down and look what I saw. I was so pleased to see this. Right there's Rob's feed today, promoted with a few others. Unfortunately, many of the other ones that are promoted are defunct. They're not produced, currently producing episodes. And I, if I scrolled through with just the key keyword gay, I'm like on the 12th page, and there's hundreds on each page. So I need you to subscribe and to rate it, rate this show, so that it goes up in those page rankings. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you again for downloading, and thank you for watching. Again, I want to remind you, this Thursday night, the 24th of March, Prayers for Bobby is re rebroadcast on the Lifetime Television Network. Please don't miss it. And having said that, that's all I'm gonna say.